Good morning, boys and girls. What a beautiful Sunday morning the Lord has made. Last week, we saw how God was able to answer the prayer of three young Jewish men and saved many lives because they trusted on God. You remember that story? Today, we continue with the same three boys and the same king that we talked about, and that is going to be our lesson today, what God can do when we are obedient to him, obeying his word. You remember from last week about how God answered the prayer of Daniel, Meshach, and Abednego? After they interpreted the king's dream and told him what uh, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar had dreamt, and its meaning. From that point, the king thought to himself that my kingdom is vast and wide, and I rule the whole world. Didn't they say that I am the head of gold? So the king thought, what can I do so that all people can know and experience my greatness? The king thought, I'm going to make a statue a big statue, and coat it with gold, and place it in a place that is visible in the whole kingdom. Near, uh, uh, near Babylon, uh, six miles from Babylon, was a plain called Dura, and therefore the king had an enormous statue made in that plain. And the reason why he made it on a plain was because he was going to invite everyone in his government. You know what happens when we have national events? We have all the ministers, we have all the provincial administrators, we have all military people, we have dignitaries and ambassadors all invited, and therefore the king was thinking something like that. I'm going to make a statue, and he made it, a big statue. The uh, the width of the statue was um, nine feet, and it was so tall, it was 90 feet tall you would see it from anywhere around Babylon. You would see that statue. So he made a huge statue, and then he said, everyone in Babylonia, everyone, it doesn't matter where you come from, I'm going to make 
sounds of music. I'm going to play the flute. I'm going to play the, the harp. I'm going to, to play the, the zither and all harmony in music. And he said, when all people are gathered around the plain of Dura, when you hear the sound of music from all these instruments, you're going to bow down and worship this image. And that did not stop there. He said again that if you do not bow to the image that I have made, you're going to be thrown into a furnace, a hot furnace. You're going to die in a fire, a big fire. And therefore, he set the debt, he made the invitations, and people from across the world in his kingdom came, and they were amazed at how huge and dazzling the statue was. So the day was made, the musicians were called, those who were doing instruments were ready, and it started. When it started, the harmony of the music, the whole plane, a plane full of people, they all went down. They all went down, and they worshipped the image of the king. But one of the satraps of the king realized that there are three young Jewish men who did not bow down. And he brought the information to the king. So he approached the king, bowed down, and said, Long live the king. I want to bring to your attention that when the sound of music sound and everybody knelt down flat and they worshipped the image, there were three who did not do that. And the king was said, what? He said, yes, there were three. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not bow. So the king was furious and full of rage. So he, he called, he asked them to be brought before him. And they were brought before him. And he told him, don't you know that I am the king of kings and my kingdom goes across the world? He said, we know, O oh king. And then he said, let me give you another opportunity. We're going to repeat this. We're going to have the musicians play. And when you hear that, please bow down and worship the image. And this is the response that they gave to the king. In Daniel chapter 3, verses 16, says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, even if he does not, we want to you to know, O oh, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold that you have set up. The king got so furious when they said this, and he said, make that fairness seven times hotter than it is. And if it is true that you're not going to bow to that image, I will have you thrown into it. And that happened. So the whole plain, plain of Dura, full of people, dignitaries from all other countries came and they repeated this because of these three men. And actually the, the, the musicians played and everybody went down and for the third time this Three men stood standing. And the king called his strongest soldiers and said, hit the, the furnace seven times more and uh, tie these three with rope and throw them in. And the strong soldiers came, they tied them with rope, all three of them, and threw them in. But because of the way the fire was so hot, the soldiers who neared the furnace died out of the heat. And something spectacular happened. After a short while, the king asked his subtras and governors, didn't we throw three men inside the furnace? How come the ropes are burnt, 
these three are walking around in the fire, and inside that furnace, I see a fourth one, like the Son of God. And the king was so amazed. He was so perplexed. And then he called out from outside and said, Daniel, Meshach, Abednego, please come out. And they came out, the, 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 the three came out of the fire. And, 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 and then the king praised, um, the king praised God. And this is what he said. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servant. They trusted in him, and he defied, and defied the king's command, and were willing to give up their lives, rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. And this is what the king said. Therefore, I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be cut to pieces and their house be turned into piles of rubble. For no other God can save in this way. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. And that is what happened. How many times have you boys or girls obeyed God and it brought praise to God? When have we stood our faith, even in times that our lives are in danger, and say that we know our God? We are going to serve our God. We are not going to compromise whatever the situation. How many times have we come across that? Do we know and do we love our God that much? You can only do this if you know him and that you have invited him to live into your heart. Then he can give and make you as bold as these three, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who are willing to give up their lives rather than worship an image or that a king had made. Therefore, boys and girls, if you this morning have not made that decision that I want this Jesus who gives boldness and makes people have guts like these three, I want, it, I want to be like these three. I want to invite you to make that prayer with me, asking Jesus, you who makes young people bold and have guts, I want to be like that. You ask him, come into my life. You can make this prayer. Dear Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I know I'm a sinner and I have done what has displeased you, but I repent and ask that you forgive my sin. Come into my heart and be my Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Thank you, boys and girls. And for those who have already received Jesus, into your heart. How many times have you been faced with situations that are hard, that are life-threatening? Are you able to be bold? Are you able to obey God in that time? Let this story encourage you to be bold and courageous for your faith and obedience to God, that your obedience to God will bring praise to him from kings, from governors, from all rulers and authorities. Thank you for listening. Have a great Sunday. God bless you. There was a man